that's the reservoir just over there cross over there and then one of two things is going to happen we're either going to have to walk along the road which goes round there and round that cliff or it's up and over now they do tell me that it, we're only three miles away from Loft House which I think is absolutely impossible unless of course we do try to scale and go over that's not going to be fun with no fluid at all in fact I don't know what I would do if that would be if that was the case we'll soon find out but right now I'm going to go and walk across there and then we'll take it from there right we are now crossing the uh, the dam again this dam is at best viewed from afar in fact it's not much up close and to be honest it looks exactly like um, Gathwaite to me because Gathwaite has that little uh, little bit there so I don't know um, there is good news and there is bad news the bad news is in order to uh, keep the distance to compensate for what we've just done I'm afraid the route is over the cliff up one side down the other side um, that's the bad news the good news is we just passed checkpoint 4 and that was something I'd forgotten all about because at these checkpoints there are uh, there is the ability to have refreshments it's only a drink of squash but my god did I need that drink of squash in fact they were nice enough to allow me to have two drinks of squash <laughs> so I did um, which will compensate me for the fact that I have no juice in which to do this almighty climb um, not too worried about it because I do know that it's bit literally you know you get to the top you go down the other side um, and this one looks pretty it's sheer but it's straight up you're not zigzagging forever so it's steep but it'll all be over in about <clears throat> 20 minutes probably this too clearly a quarry or what's left of one an open cast mine where they seem to have drilled out rocks not unlike the ones in the reservoir below and I do mean below yes yes there we are again I walked across that at the top now I'm walking across this one time is not on our side it's gone two o'clock um, and I wanted to be back at Loft House for one uh, so I'm now running more than an hour behind oh my god that that's the path um, <coughs> However, once we do get back to Loft House, I know the, the path from there on, so it won't be, uh, hopefully I'll be able to cover it easier, quicker, but uh, just as we started this ascent, I began to chafe. <laughs> Another danger of people my size so uh, hopefully that won't uh, be too bad 
because that can be very painful. It can make walking very painful if you're my size. But we'll see. Ah, I'm going to have to turn you off again. At least until I made it up there. Two. Or has it just gone three? One or the other. I can't remember which. Uh, no, it's just gone three. That's right. And there's three hours left. And actually, this is not too bad now. This is uh, c catching up on myself. I believe that Loft House is through the trees there. I believe I'm in Middlesmore at the moment. And that, of course, is the Gothwaite Reservoir. And so the journey from here uh, goes two Loft Houses up, but only skirting the side there, and then back along. And as soon as I've traversed the big hill between Goth, uh, between uh, Loft House and uh, Boothwaite, not to be confused with Goothwaite, because Boothwaite is between here and Goothwaite on that side, um, I, I don't have a problem with getting back. Until then, I'm a bit worried because the whole thing shuts down at six, so I only have about, well, three hours left. Uh, so I can't be hanging around. I can't be hanging around.